Hi, this is Kiola here, and today I wanted to talk about water lilies. What I have here are tropicals. Blooms year round in beautiful Hawaii. The more sun, the better. This guy will perform for you. I've seen them grow in almost all exposures of light. One of the best things about them is they'll survive. But one of the bad things about them is they just keep producing babies. Every leaf has the potential to become a new lily. They'll grow a leaf structure from these nodes. It'll break away from the plant itself until it grows into a completely new plant. If you wanted to give uh, gifts to your friends of lilies, that's for you right here. Way number two for your lily to divide, and this is one of the more common ways. This is the mama plant. You'll always notice the biggest one. For a very healthy water bowl, I normally suggest one lily per bowl. So I'd rather have one spectacular specimen. So what you do is you just remove these corms, and these are your new kikis. So I have one root here, or oh, actually two. Just from this technique alone, I can get at least a dozen plus uh, new kikis. The third way it can spread, and probably the most ominous, is through seed. Water lilies, every day that it opens up, one layer will open up until you see this. After this, it's done. But after it's done like this, it's gonna go under the water and turn into that. In time, it'll stay in there and this will get really hard. When it's ready to burst, there you go. These are the seeds. So just like anything else, I prefer to have one healthy plant with huge leaves. What we have here is a queen of Siam, and this is ideal for what you're growing. If you grow lilies, you will have to divide them. So I'm gonna show you very easily how to do that. Don't need any tools, just your hands and your lily and a bunch of dirt. What I'll do is I'll take this out. They're so resilient, I just rip stuff apart. This is what you're left with. When your lily gets to this point, it's really gonna have a hard time spreading out and there's not really a lot of nutrients left. So you have to have to divide. So what all I'm doing, is separating the mother plant from the side plants, and then you can just go for it. They are very hardy, so you never have to worry about straining them. And that's the mama. What the goal is, is to free it of this enormous root ball, because I don't want to replant it. So what you can do is pull off some of the outlaying root and leave a smaller sized corm. Once I replant this, it'll take off right away and it's ready to go. And all you do is you reach all the way back to the base of the plant and pinch it off with your finger. You can only really use one kind of soil for water lilies, unmixed soil. By that, I mean you can't have anything that's floating. This stuff, you can use red dirt, any kind of dirt that's like a clay soil. These guys like to float, so you have to get it in enough that it's not gonna float away on you. So I just push it in there, and actually, that's ready to go. It's perfect. At this point, you need to fertilize your plant so it has the tools to come to fruition. These guys you can use for any water plant. All you do is take one and then you push it right under the soil. There you go. That's good for a month. And at this point, we can go and dunk her inside of our pond. What I normally do is just angle it a little bit because your core may want to float away on you, so you want to be as gentle as possible in this point. It's okay if it's underwater. These are among the most prolific growers, but this is ready to go and it's gonna put out flowers all year round or until the next divide. My name is Kiola and these are water lilies. Mahalo.